Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Obviously with the advanced mode coming along and being implemented in the game in the last patch, a lot of people now are trying to figure out how to actually refuel their creations. Um, so what I thought is I'll quickly go ahead and do a quick tutorial how to set up a refueling station. Um, this is not going to be anything pretty, uh, it's just pretty much going to show you how to get fluid from one tank into another tank. Uh, I will have a, we'll go through and we'll build a couple of different examples and I'll show you how to get that all wired up and piped up here in advanced mode. So we'll go ahead and we'll get straight to it. So first off, we'll go to the workbench here in advanced mode. As always, with the little examples in my tutorials, we'll just go ahead and build a base to work with. What I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to be placing down three of the pre-built tanks for us. Now what we'll do is we'll line those up. And that's where we're going to be wanting our fuel to go into. So we'll just have three of those placed down. And then I'll go now into the settings of each. And I'll change the setting to be empty so these tanks will be completely empty and won't have anything in them so go ahead change that to empty what we'll do also is the tank that we'll be getting our fuel from we'll actually go ahead and use a custom tank so the same as the fluid tutorial that i posted yesterday so we'll just go ahead and just build a simple tank As I explained in the last video, um, we will have to add our three components to this, uh, one being the fluid port, the second being the fluid meter, and then the third being the fluid spawner. Um, as I said yesterday, is that all of them come in the um, pre-built tanks are ready for you, so you don't need to actually add those in. However, if you are building your own custom tank, you will need to go ahead and add all the components into them. So now we got all three of our different components in there. Next off, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start doing the piping. So in order to get fuel from this to any of these three tanks, we need obviously something to use to obviously transfer that fluid. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a hose for that. So I'm just going to go ahead, delete a couple of blocks here, and then we're going to go ahead and place our hose down. So the hose itself exactly the same as a winch. Um, the only difference is this can actually transfer fluid between uh, two bodies. Now you see it's not letting me place it down because it wants me to place it down in the middle there. So I'm just going to build this box up and I'll go and delete it afterwards. Uh, same as the water cannon, the block uh, or the pipe inlet or outlet is just over here. So the f the hose itself um, obviously has an in and out um, connection and then also has a hose lens connection. Pretty much what it does is it transfers fluid from the base to the end of the hose um, or it can go in and actually suck fluid in through that and then transfer it back out. That just all depends on the pump that you have connected to it and which direction the pump is going in. So for this tutorial we want fluid to go from this tank into any of these three tanks as if this was our refilling um, truck or our refilling station and then this would be our creation where we want to fill. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add dials to all of these or four of them just so that we have a reading on how much fuel is in each of them. I'm not going to do anything pretty, just going to go ahead and add the dials just on top of the blocks themselves, and then we can see, obviously, if they are being refueled or not. We'll go ahead and, once again, just double-check all our... So that's going to spawn diesel, and then we've already made diesel empty. That's great. Next off, what we need is obviously a pump to transfer the fluid from here to the hose. So we'll go ahead and just plump down one of our large fluid pumps. As I said in the previous tutorial, you need to be careful to make sure to see which um, side is in and which side is out. There are specific ones. So go ahead and get this all piped up. You can obviously add different uh, valves if you want to this. You could add a um, pressure valve to see what the pressure of this is. You could also add a um, on-off valve to, see, to obviously turn it off uh, if you don't want any fluid coming out of this anymore. Um, however, for the purpose of the tutorial, we don't need to add any of those in. Uh, we're simply just going to have this going straight into the hose. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll just go ahead and um, add a button down just to control the pump. And that will actually be the only button that we need for this, um, this whole tutorial. 
Now we'll go ahead, just make a little hole here, and that's where we're going to just use a toggle button. Now this toggle button that I placed down now is going to be to control the actual pump itself, to switch it on, and then we're just going to have another simple, if I can get this to actually be placed down properly. Um, so that toggle button is going to control the pump. At the same time, it's going to control the hose to go down. And that's the only button we need for this whole tutorial. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect all our sensors up to um, the actual dial so we know how much is in each side, each one of these tanks. And then last thing that we need to go ahead and place down is going to be our fluid inlet or outlet or connector, as you would call it. Um, so we're just going to go straight up to our fluid connector, connect those straight to all, th all three of our tanks, plus we also need one at the end of the hose. And by default, these are all on, so you don't need to um, actually have a button to control these anymore. They come defaultly on. Obviously, you can connect a button up if you want to um, connect it up to there, where you can obviously then turn the magnets off. However, as it is now, you can actually just go ahead and I'll show you where you can just pull them away from each uh, connection. They're, it's not a very strong uh, connection. So we'll just go ahead from there. So once everything is now actually hooked up and placed down, we'll just double check all our connections to make sure everything's working. As because I'm in advanced mode, we will need a battery to power everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place a quick battery in the corner there, jump down to the electric and then power everything up. Now that I have that all powered up, we'll go ahead and we'll just spawn this in. As you can see, it's just spawned in. We'll go ahead and just check all the different tanks to see what their level is. You can see this is full. These are completely empty. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and press our little toggle button. Now this is going to turn the pump on and then also lower the hose itself. Now all the fluid connectors, you can grab them. Obviously, because I have placed this to the creation, we won't be able to go ahead and pick these up. This will be your own vehicle. But we can go ahead and just pick up the one connector to the hose. And then what we can do is you can see here it's automatically gone and toggled and connected to that. And at the same time, because we have our pump on, it's gone ahead and filled this. If we were to go ahead and turn our pump off, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. You can see I've just pulled it away here. No button pressed and it's actually pulled it. Now we've gone ahead and connected to this. Because our pump is off, this shouldn't be full at all. If we go ahead and actually just press our button, you can see here now it's now gone ahead and filled it up. I'm going to go ahead and pull this away and connect to the last tank and you can see now it's now gone ahead and filled this up so all three tanks are completely filled now and you can see here our main tank has dropped down its level as always you can just go ahead and grab this and pull it away uh, and if you connected up the hose uh, you would be able to push it in and out depending on how far you want it to go out uh, maximum is 16 meters oh sorry 16 blocks uh, it can go out it can't go out any further than that Perfect. Well, that's pretty much about it for this tutorial. I thought I'd just do a quick video covering this for you guys so you have a brief understanding on how it works. Uh, as always, uh, these tutorials uh, and everything I make in these tutorials is just for the sole purpose of the video. Um, it's not probably the best way to do it. However, it's just to give you a brief understanding on how to use it and then how to actually implement it in your own creation. As always, I hope you've liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, and then we'll see you in the next video.